Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a solo overnighter with an ultralight setup. So I packed very minimal on this trip and it was a really quick out and kind of just get out here, enjoy the wilderness by myself with a very lightweight setup and then move on early tomorrow morning to another location. I'm on the fence whether I'm going to film that or not, but I am going to film today, day one for all of you to enjoy. So I've got my tent set up. I've got a nice little fire pit here. The area is very nice and clean and there's even some firewood cut and split. Some of it's over here and some of it's over by the camera. So it looks like I'm not going to have to do a whole lot of work in this area to enjoy this evening. The skies are very cloudy and it does look like it has a huge chance of rain. So who knows what will happen. We'll see what the, what the day brings. But for now, I do have my coffee kit here. So I'm going to be getting all my stuff set up on the stump do up a quick coffee and just kind of sit back and enjoy the area. There is a lake behind me and it's just a nice breeze coming through here. So I figure make up a coffee, sit back and relax for a little bit and then start on wood processing for a campfire later on this evening. All right guys, hot cup of coffee on a nice cool kind of warmish day. It is gonna cool off later on this evening, but right now it is kind of warm. However, there is a nice cool breeze still rolling through here. And I did feel a couple of raindrops on my hand just a second ago. So that's the reason why I've kind of come over towards the tent. If I do have to duck inside, I will. If not, I'll just sit right outside just like this and enjoy my coffee. There is one thing that I wanna mention though. 
I'm just gonna cover a couple of pieces of gear that I brought with me. I normally don't do this, but I've been getting asked a lot lately if I would mention some of the gear in some of the videos. So today is the lucky day for you gear junkies. I'm just gonna go over a couple things really quick. So my tent today is my 3FUL Lanshan 1 Pro. For the sleeping pad inside, I have the Gear Doctors Apollo Air. And then for my sleeping bag, I have my near zero down bag. You guys probably can't see it in there, but uh, I have a review on all of this stuff. And then for my backpack, I'm using a Tactical Innovations backpack from a Canadian distributor, which is very nice. And that is basically it for my sleep system. I saw I've got the Boreal 24. My titanium pot is a 750 Best Argot. Uh, Outdoor Elements Fire Beaner, Holtzman Gorilla Fire Steel. Uh, BRS titanium uh, canister stove. So I'm just kind of looking at everything I've got around here. Uh, my knife is a custom-made knife by Peter LePay, LePay Knives of Nova Scotia, Canada. And trekking pole is a Unigear carbon fiber pole. That is basically all that I can see from where I'm sitting. So hopefully that helps you gear junkies out. If you do have any questions on the gear or any other pieces of gear, drop it down in the comment section and I'll be sure to help you guys out. I just want to get that out of the way because I get asked a lot and I do enjoy answering your guys' questions. So I figure why not take a second and mention some of it on this trip, which is a very rare thing. I normally never do that. So hopefully it rains. It is cloudy. It is windy. It is dark. Hopefully we get the rain. Like I said earlier, I'm going to enjoy my coffee just sitting right here in the tent. Enjoy some of the view that I got of the water. And then I'm going to grab my saw and cut up some of this wood that has kindly been left behind for me. So there's some cardboard over there. Got a couple pieces of hardwood over here by the fire pit. Get all that cut up, batoned up, just for a nice little campfire. My meal tonight is not gonna require fire, but I do like the campfire feel, so that's gonna be the plan. Coffee, firewood prep.
All right, guys, I've got my fire lay ready to go. I've got some birch bark underneath of it, some wood shavings on top, and everything's elevated. Now, I do have quite a cramped fire pit, and what I mean by cramped is these rock walls come up quite high, so for me to get my fire steel down in there and throw shavings or sparks into the shavings, sometimes can be a little difficult when you've got a small area. So often what I like to do is take another piece of birch bark and what I want to do is I want to take my knife when it comes time to light the fire. I'm not going to be lighting it right now. But what I like to do is just take my knife, rough up the surface on another area. So over here I have some stumps. I'm going to rough up the area and I'm going to throw a spark into that and essentially turn this into a match and then I could transfer it down into a pile of birch bark and then basically back up and I've got my fire lay all ready to go and then I can just let it catch and do its thing. Um, I'm going to be setting this underneath of a log right now under some firewood though because it is actually raining right now and behind the camera there is a giant black cloud rolling this way. However on the other side of that looking all around it is quite a bit lighter behind that so I think we're going to get dumped on with a really quick shower maybe 15-20 minutes. If that happens, I do have some larger pieces of firewood. I'm basically just going to pile everything on top to keep that dry and, uh, and get the birch bark and the smaller wood underneath the vestibule of the tent and of course all my other gear. And then if this passes over, I can come back out, clear it off and then light the fire later on. I just wanted to mention that if you are in kind of a tight area, there's no point in trying to get your fire steel in there and try and throw it on a weird angle. Just move it outside, make a little match, light that, transfer it in and you've got fire. So I'm going to start tidying some of this up because I can feel more and more raindrops and I think it's on its way. All right guys, the rain is now here and it started and stopped for a minute there and it's coming down pretty steady right now. So it's not a massive downpour, but it is still constant and I don't want to get soaking wet. So I'm going to get the rest of my gear inside of the tent just in case I don't make it back out a little later on. I can at least cook in the vestibule area of the tent and still stay dry. So I want to get this stuff over there now and I think I'm going to hang out in the tent for a few moments while it rains. Who knows, it might let up, it might not. If I don't get a chance to light the fire outside, I'm still gonna come out and light it and then just watch it from inside of the vestibule later on this evening. But I do think right now I'm gonna duck inside of the tent and probably maybe even make up a snack. Who knows, we'll see how long this rain lasts for. I'm enjoying it though, two thumbs up, I love the rain. So I'm gonna jump in and I'll bring you guys with me. Alright guys, inside the tent right now, I do still have the door wide open and that's right where the camera's sitting, just kind of outside. It's not raining heavy, but it is raining constant and I'd much rather not get wet. I do have my hoodie with me and I just kind of want to stay dry, so why not chill out right here in the afternoon with a little bit of rain. Um, the tent is, it is, it is accumulating a fair bit of rain, but uh, I did seam seal the tent, I should mention. When I did my review on this tent, I kind of chewed 3FUL up because it's not seam sealed. And uh, due to the fabric type, I know that it can't be seam sealed with seam tape. However, they could seam seal it with something from the factory. But uh, I did seam seal it at home on my own and I'm not worried about this leaking anymore. So hanging out here for the afternoon, I think it's going to be probably, looks, 
It looks pretty dark out there, I'm going to be honest. It is very dark up in the sky with all those clouds, so... I don't know if I'm going to be cooking supper right here in the vestibule from the tent, or if I'm going to be able to get outside and do that, but... Right now, I'm just going to enjoy the sound of the rain and lay down for a little bit and just relax. Alright guys, the rain has now let up and it's been about an hour and a half. I've just been laying in the tent just having an afternoon nap and uh, it, it's time to cook supper now. But I was going to cook right here in the vestibule area and I on purpose put the ground sheet on backwards. So I had this pulled out just so I would have a little bit of a floored area to kind of lean out and do some cooking. I've since tucked it underneath to stop the rain from hitting it. but. I've got to get out of the tent. I mean, being cooped up in that tent in the afternoon and then being stuck in there all evening, it's not fun. So I think I'm going to jump out really quickly. I'm going to zip this shut to keep the inside of the tent area dry. And I'm going to start cooking supper over here on one of these stumps because I got a feeling this rain is going to keep up. So I'm just going to get out. I am going to get a little bit wet, but I do have a change of clothes for later on this evening to change into. So I'm not terribly worried about it right now. I just want to cook and I just want to stretch my body, get out of the tent and just kind of sit upright and, uh, and do some cooking and eat some food. So I'm going to get all my cooking stuff back over towards the stump and start on that right away. Alright, so I'm just going to do my cooking right here. The fire underneath of all the wood is still dry, so if this does let up, I can move that out of the way, light the fire very easily, and everything underneath of that is still dry. I did go down to the lake and fill up my bottle of, uh, of water full of lake water. I do still have to boil it though, so this is really important. If you do have a water bottle that you're drinking out of, so I did bring water from home, but I've already used it, uh, it's very important to note mentally that this is no longer clean water. <laughs> I know a lot of people that have brought water bottles with them, drank the water, and then later on that day filled it up from the lake and drank it. And they got very sick from doing so. So it's very important to note that this is now a dirty water source, meaning even if I rinse out the inside of my cup, now my cup is contaminated and I do need to boil it or put it over heat to kill any germs and bacteria. So one thing to note, it, uh, it it's good to have different bottles, maybe with a different colored lid, so then you know clean, dirty, but... I'm really good at knowing that that is now dirty, so I just want to mention that just in case you do happen to get sick from uh, lake water, uh, just be very diligent in where the water is going. So I'm going to fill this up, I'm going to bring it to a boil, and I do have kind of a backpacking meal. Uh, this one is Summit Savory Chicken from Wild Zora. I've been enjoying these a lot lately actually. So. Just gonna boil this water, make sure it is fully boiled, and might as well put the whole bottle in there. Boil it all up, and then uh, it also important to note, once that's boiled, I cannot pour it back into the bottle and save it for later because everything inside of the bottle is now contaminated. So, very, very important to pay attention to what you're doing with your water source if you are not filtering it. Uh, that aside, I'm starving, so I'm going to get this sparked up, get this on there, and start boiling.
All right, so I've got the water in my meal. That's gonna take about 10 minutes to rehydrate and then it'll be ready to eat. Sitting here, the rain seems like it has actually stopped. So I'm gonna take advantage of this and I'm basically gonna take all my food down to the water's edge and sit on a rock and enjoy a little bit of scenery rather than being cooped up here all day and all night. So I did bring a bagel with me for bread. I'm gonna bring that, my spoon, and my meal, and I'm gonna head down to the lake and enjoy a lakefront view with some dinner. So let's head down there. All right, so I've got a campfire going right now and it took off pretty quickly. Everything was still dry underneath of the wood that I had stacked over top of it from the rain. And scraping the birch bark on that stump that I had there, that took off pretty quick. And then I had to use my fire steel and my knife as tongs to pick up the, the birch bark and toss it in the fire. So that was a little bit of a scramble, but everything went all pretty, pretty well, actually. I gotta say, especially with this wind. So one thing I do wanna mention is I'm burning hardwood today. Uh, I'm not going to be burning any softwood, and the reason I mention that is because it is rather windy out. If I was burning softwood, it would be spitting embers like crazy right now, and with this wind, they would likely A, end up in the forest and create a forest fire, or B, go directly into my tent and cause a burned tent, a lot of holes in it. So 
going to be burning hardwood, which does not crack and spit embers. As you guys can see, there's very, very minimal embers, if any, coming off that fire right now. And it's a mellow fire. So if that was softwood, it would just be spitting all over the place. And it's just not a smart idea. So I am all cleaned up. Supper was awesome. I'm stuffed. And uh, I've already collected water out of the lake inside of my bottle. So I do have to boil that again once I consume it. But all in all, everything's taken care of. And it is now time to relax in front of the campfire. All right, it is now nightfall. It is getting dark fairly quick right now. The wind is still blowing through here. And as you guys can see, the temperature is cooling off. So this is actually very, very good for me because it has been pretty warm and humid all day and it's finally starting to break. So that night air is coming in nicely and hopefully we have a very crisp, cool morning in the morning. I'm looking forward to that so much. So much, a nice cool morning, some warm oatmeal, hot coffee. That is my plan for the morning. So my one luxury item that I brought with me is a can of beer. One can, and I find myself doing this often, I'll just bring one small can lately, and it's just, even if it's warm or if you get a chance to put it in a river or a stream to keep it cold, right now mine's fairly warm, uh, but I gotta say, definitely worth packing in. So this is a lightweight packing trip. This is my one luxury heavy item that I decided to bring, so. It is almost gone and it is getting rather dark quickly like I said so I'm going to be enjoying the fire for a little bit longer and then once it is dark enough to kind of head in on inside I'm just going to let this kind of die out leave the tent door open for a little while because I do have a couple movies saved on my phone that I want to watch tonight and tomorrow uh, but I've decided that I don't think I'm going to film tomorrow night where this is a two night trip I think I'm going to film tonight and then tomorrow I'm going to take to myself and not film any video but i am going to capture photos for my instagram so if you guys are interested in checking that out definitely check it out uh but this is me for tonight i will catch up with you guys when i head inside of the tent later on just to let you guys know any updates of anything that's happened but i'm going to relax now it is getting to my favorite time of all camping trips the evening campfire time so i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit
All right, guys, I am now inside of the tent. I got the beautiful glow from the campfire just flickering through the material right behind the camera, which is really awesome. I do have the door open probably about six inches off the ground, and I have a stick propped open so I can see the flames in the fire, which is really awesome right now. I'm going to hold that open until it's totally out, and then I'll, uh, I'll zip the door shut and basically close up for the evening. So I've got an overhead lantern on. I've got a flashlight on right now, kind of illuminating the tent. I'm gonna get one of those turned off. And I'm basically gonna start my movie because it is definitely very comfortable in here. I'm very, very warm. Got my sleeping bag on. Just I'm, I'm basically just gonna keep it on as a blanket right now. It's still kind of the cool air is coming in, but it's still really warm out. So all in all, I'm very, very comfortable and I am dying to watch my movie and then just go to sleep because I'm exhausted today. So. I'm going to get changed out of uh, these clothes into some pajamas very soon. And uh, basically, like I said, kick back, watch my movie, and off to bed. And then hopefully up in the morning for a nice, cool, and crisp morning. Warm oatmeal, hot coffee, and hopefully some birds out on the lake would be awesome. So, good night, guys, and I'll see you first thing in the morning for coffee.
Good morning, everybody. It is a wet kind of cool morning today, so definitely my kind of weather right now. Uh, I just got my coffee and oatmeal ready to go right here for breakfast. And I gotta say, this is definitely my climate. Now, last night it poured. It poured with rain all night last night. It was very, very loud on the tent material because the tent is pitched very tight. So it sounded like a little drum just tapping away all night long, which it, it was annoying at first because I was really tired and I wanted to go to sleep. But after I just kind of mellowed out, it just, it, it put me to sleep pretty quick. So it rained all night last night. Uh, I did have one loon out on the lake early this morning, which woke me up. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, and basically just hanging out here outside. The rain has subsided for a little bit, but it looks like it is gonna come back. The skies are just black and gray. So I think it's gonna rain again today. I'm still in my jammies, so I'm not gonna get changed until a little later on. Uh, I'd rather get these wet than my pants that I've gotta wear again today. So yeah, I'm just gonna relax and do coffee and oatmeal and listen to the birds. There are a few birds chirping in the, in the trees, so. I'm just gonna have a nice quiet morning and enjoy some oatmeal and coffee. All right, guys, breakfast is all done, and I gotta say it was definitely refreshing. Uh, apple cinnamon oatmeal and Kahlua coffee, so not a bad mix. Uh, Kahlua amaretto coffee, I should say. So not a bad mix. Uh, I'm just gonna start slowly packing up where we do have this break in the rain. Uh, the tent is totally soaked, but it's gonna be getting set up again today as this is two nights. However, I'm only gonna be filming one night. I'm not gonna film tonight. I filmed last night for you guys. So I'm gonna be taking this night all to myself. Um, but I do have to get packed up and I'd rather do it with this break in the rain so all my sleeping gear stays dry as the tent is already soaking wet. I'm basically just gonna cram it inside of the stuff sack wet and then when I get to where I'm going, shake it out, set it up and, uh, and go from there. So I like getting my cooking stuff all kind of squared away first off and Working with the items that are fixed shape. So I'm gonna do a video on this. If you guys are interested, please let me know in the comment section if you are interested. I think you are because it's been suggested many times. Um, how do I pack for a trip? So this is a fixed shape item. I can't change the shape of that. I can't change the shape of this. However, things such as my sleeping bag, I do have the stuff sack with me. Now, if I put it inside of the stuff sack, it is now a fixed shape. So today I'm not gonna put it inside of the stuff sack because I actually do have a rain cover for my backpack. I'm just gonna cram it in there and let it loft up and uh, the rain cover will keep everything dry. So when I get to where I'm going, I could just yank it out, throw it in the tent and be done with it. But uh, I may do a video on that if you guys are interested on how I pack my gear or how you guys can pack things easily. Just let me know in the comment section of this video and I'll do my best to get that out to you. 
But uh, I am going to take a few minutes and just square up camp, get everything kind of in there. There are some raindrops falling off the tree, but uh, I'm going to try to do this quickly before it does start raining again. Get all my stuff that I don't want to get wet in the backpack and then leave the tent for the very last. Alright guys, that is everything of the tent taken down. Now you will notice that I stood up when I was packing away the wet tent and basically to prevent all of that from happening. So my hand is completely covered in pine needles and duff off the ground because the outside of the tent is wet. So if you are going to pack down your tent when the outside is still wet in an area like this, stand up and do it. Otherwise it's going to get covered in all of this stuff and it's going to be a giant mess. So my tent's nice and clean right now, which is perfect. And I've got all my pegs, my ground sheet, everything ready to go. I'm just gonna roll this down and stuff it in the backpack and I'll be ready to set it up in probably another four to six hours possibly, depending on how far I hike today. So get this snapped together, get it loaded in the backpack and I think that's gonna be it for gear. So everything is packed up. I've got my saw that I still have to carry. Everything is in the backpack. The rain is holding off right now, so I'm not gonna bother with my rain fly, but if it does start to come down, obviously I'm gonna throw that over top of the pack to keep it dry. It's just I got snacks in here that I wanna reach in and grab as I'm hiking on the trail. So we'll leave it off for now, but all in all, I had a really great time. You guys can see the big dry patch of the tent behind me. Uh, so it, it kind of makes it easier to see how wet it actually is. It is wet out here today, very, very wet. Uh, the rain last night was awesome. It poured with rain and it's likely going to do it again today. So, But as I mentioned, I'm not going to be filming night number two. I'm going to take it all to myself. But I do thank you guys for joining me on this adventure. And if you guys have any questions or comments, drop it down in the comment section. As always, I read the comments and I get back to you guys. Until next time, peace out. And I'm off for night number two in the woods. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later on, guys.